The first term of a geometric sequence is 8, and the fourth term is 2, 16. So the first term, so A1, is 8, and A4 is 2, 16. Okay. And there's a geometric sequence, so that means uh, there's going to be a common ratio rather than a common difference. What is the sum of the first 12 terms of the corresponding series? Okay, so the uh, series, so if we have a geometric sequence, let's start with the sequence. The geometric sequence, the explicit equation takes on this form. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. And r can be found by any subsequent term divided by the previous term, right? By any term divided by the previous term. Uh, and the difference between a series and a sequence is a series is the sum of all the terms in the sequence. And there's a formula for that for a geometric sequence, and that is a sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. So we will need to use uh, definitely the second equation here because we will uh, need to find the sum, but we will also need to find out what the geometric, uh, what the um, common ratio is first. So to do that, because we're given a1 is 8 and a4 is 216, we're going to use the explicit geometric sequence uh, equation to find out what r is. So how are we going to do that? So since I know a sub 4 is 216, I can then say, I'm going to use a different color now. I can then say 216 is equal to a sub 1, which is 8, times r, which is what I'm trying to find at the moment. And uh, which term are we at when we're at 216? We're on the fourth term, 4 minus 1, right? So I just substitute in everything I know, okay, into the uh, geometric sequence equation. And now I'm going to proceed to solve for r. So I'm going to divide both sides by 8 first. And if I do, I will, turn, I will have, what is that, uh, 57? No, 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 17. No, 27. If I divide both sides by 8. 16, right, I will end up with 27. And then r, divide both sides by 8, and I'm with 27, and then r to the third. And then we're going to raise both sides by the power of 1 third, so r is 27 to the 1 third, which is 3. Okay, so now that I've found out what r is, I can now find out what the sum is. We want to find the sum up to... Oh, the 12th term there. Okay. So S sub n or S sub 12 is equal to 8, because that's A1, times 1 minus 3 to the 12th over 1 minus 3. S sub 12 is equal to 8 times uh, 1 minus 3 to the 12th all over negative 2 or s sub 12 is equal to negative 4 times 1 minus 3 to the 12th. So let's enter that into the calculator. So negative 4. And clear whatever I have. Negative 4. 1 minus 3 to the 12th. And let's press enter. 21, well, that's a large number, so 2125760. So 2125760. And that would be option three.